Hi everybody, welcome to CSEO. Today we're making a at Caterpillar clothespin and I'm hoping everybody's doing well and also getting out there enjoying some of this nice weather. Today materials that we're going to be using is our acrylic paint. Um, I have here blue, you've got your purple, a red, orange. However, it doesn't matter what color of paint you use for this project, the sky is the limit. We also have our clothes, our clothes pins, so plain. We also have our, our markers that we'll need. And again, it doesn't matter what kind of markers you use, um, any colors, any colors your imagination can go for. Then, we have our cotton balls as well. You'll need three of them for your project. Then we have some googly eyes. And with the googly eyes here, it doesn't matter what size you use for, for, for this project. I know there are some googly eyes out there that have different colors in, um, different colors of eyes like green and yellow and blue. Um, be creative. Yeah, as well and you will also need some glue. First, just to let you know before you get started, make sure you have something covering your table because it can get messy in this project. If you want to use gloves to protect your hands, you can wear an apron or old clothes as well. So our first step is we're going to buy get a clothes pin. Make sure you have your paintbrush. Now I'm going to paint this one orange because with the nice weather outside, it's nice and bright. You can, um, with your paint, um, put it on a plate or in a little dish if you like. Um, I'm just going to take it out of the bottle today. And we're just going to dip the paintbrush in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the tongs first. And I'm going to paint inside there. As, as we're painting, just to let you know, the lighter the color is on the clothespin, um, depending on how many coats um, it will take to cover it. I'm finding best the more darker colors are better than a lot of the lighter colors. Once you paint the inside, you can start painting the top. And just paint it, cover it all up. And yes, you are going to get the fingers messy when doing this. So that's why people don't like getting their hands a mess to wear gloves. But I find it fun sometimes. Now, once we're done painting all this, you're gonna have to let it dry for one to two hours, depending. And then once it gets closer to uh, the drying point, if you wanna add a second coat, go for it. If not, that is okay. It's your choice. Now I'm gonna paint inside the other. Now, too, if you only want to paint one side at a time and let it dry, you can. So you can leave that one dry. Once it's dry, turn it over and paint the other side. It is totally up to you how you want to paint your clothespin. Just make sure you get your edges up here. And voila, you are done painting the clothespin. While you're letting your clothes pin to dry, you're gonna start on your cotton balls. So you got three cotton balls. Now, now you can pick whatever color you want for your cotton balls. Um, since I've done an orange, I'm gonna do a yellow for one. I'm gonna do a green for another middle one. And then, hmm, you know what? Let's do blue. Like I said, 
It doesn't matter what color you use. You can decide to go two yellows and a green. You can do them all the same color. Doesn't matter. So with the blue, all you're gonna do is pick up your cotton ball, and yes, your fingertips are gonna get messy. I find what works best is just tap your marker onto the cotton ball. If you do strokes, it starts to tear the, uh, the shape of the cotton ball, and you get sometimes little cotton ball hairs on, on the tip of your marker. So I am just gonna go ahead and just tap it around. Color it all in. You can leave white spots, more white spots than others. It's up to you. You can really color it as well. And this is where having protecting paper or cover onto your kitchen table comes in handy because it will make a mess. By the way, today I'm using smelly markers. So this one smells like a blueberry. The other one's like a lemon, and the green is like a lime color. But you don't have to use smelly markers. You can use any type of markers that you have in the house. And once you're done, everything, you'll just put it, put it off to the side. You might want to wash your hands in between so you don't mess up the other color, um, but that's okay too because sometimes mixing the colors gives you a different kind of a look on your caterpillar and I'll show you later at the end what I mean by that. Um, so yeah. Now once your uh, clothespin is dry, make sure you kind of uh, open it up so, um, so it kind of opens. Sometimes the paint does tick, so as it's drying, from time to time, just try to open it up so it doesn't stick together. If it does, no biggie. You know, you can take something or something little sharp to in there to help open it or leave it shut. Doesn't matter. Now, with your cotton balls, you want to place them whatever what order you want. You can do yellow first, green, blue, or vice versa. Doesn't matter what you can do. On this one here, we added more to it. We have a green, a yellow, a purple, a pink, a blue, and then we end it off with green. So it doesn't matter um, how many cotton balls you use. You can use three, four. Use your imagination because this is your project for you. Um, enjoy it and have fun with it. Now, you will need your white glue because we are going to be gluing this on. I will do a strip one line on the top of the clothes pit and I think I'm going to do the blue one first, then the yellow and then the green. If you want you can press down for a few minutes so the glue can attach to the bottom um, of the cotton ball to the clothes pin. Once that's done, if you like, I have also kind of went in, because I don't like them to move around as much. I'll stick a little bit of glue in the middle of the cotton ball and stick it to the other one so it's a little bit more secure on the clothespin. I won't do it for the second one here because that's when we add the antennas to the project. Now I'm going to put, put this aside to let the glue set a little bit and we're going to work on the antennas. Now it doesn't matter, you can use any color of um, color paper of your choice of what you're going to be drawing. Um, doesn't matter what color it has, you can mix them, you know, whatever color. So with mine, I think, I don't know, I might do green. You know what, I might just go with orange, because orange brights up. You can pick and choose doesn't matter and this is where a pencil comes into play as well. Now to draw the antennas on a piece of cardboard here um, it's going to be like a V shape but a big kind of V, v shape and I'll just show you. 
you're just gonna start and it doesn't have to be perfect it does not have to be perfect as well so that's what it will look like once you're done cutting your antennas out you're going to take your white glue and just put the glue on the bottom of both sides and the reason why we want to do both sides is because then it will stick in the middle of the of between the first two cotton balls so you're just going to open that up stick the antennas in there and lightly squeeze together and it doesn't matter if they go in straight crooked again it's your imagination of how how you want this to look once that's it then we're going to take the googly eyes now this is also two. Uh, you can put the same same two size on, eyes on, or you can put um, a, one big one, one small one. Use your imagination, as I say through through this whole video. Um, the sky's the limit. So I think for this one today, I'm going to use two different two different sizes for gooey eyes. And all you're going to do is glue. Put the back and then place the eye at the front. On the front, so we have one right there. Now I'm going to take a small one. This one's going to be a funny, funny act. And that's okay. And voila. There is our post pin. Um, now, as I said before, if you did not wash your hands and as you're carrying on between your carton balls, like this one here for my little ant project, um, we had red and orange. So what happened was when we were coloring the orange, some of the red came on to there and turned it into brown, which that is okay because it gives that different look to, to your project. As well, uh, you can add glitter. If you have some glitter pens or anything to your caliper, uh, I've been calling them caliculars, or it could be ads. Um, but yeah, sky's the limit, so do your project. Well, I hope today that you did like this video. Hit like and subscribe. Have a wonderful day, and see you next time.